To order the correct replacement elements for your Bailey Electric kiln, we will need the following information from the nameplate of your kiln. The model number, voltage, serial number, and the location of the elements, top, middle, or floor. When received, keep the element in its original packaging until you are ready to install it. Check the label to make sure it matches the specifications for your kiln. If there is any question, please call us. Do not install an element unless you are sure it is the correct one. Once installed, elements are not returnable. Each Bailey element is pre-stretched to the proper length and includes new element connectors. Use these new connectors when installing the element. To install new elements, you will need the following tools. Quarter inch socket driver, pliers, 1 8 inch Allen wrench, masking tape, marker, needle nose pliers, element staples, which are optional, and wire cutters. Begin by shutting power off to the kiln at the breaker. Bailey kilns do not have plugs, but are hardwired. The switch controlling the breaker must be turned off to cut the power going to the kiln. Do not attempt any type of kiln maintenance until the power to the kiln has been shut off at the breaker. Use the quarter inch socket driver to remove the screws holding the control panel closed. One at the top left and three down the right side. The box will now swing open, giving access to the element connections. Locate the pair of tails that belong to the element you wish to change. Use the tape and marker to mark each connecting wire. Hold the copper connector with the pliers and use the 1 8 inch Allen wrench to loosen the set screw until the wire can be removed as shown. Repeat for the second connector. Remove the element insulators carefully and set them aside. Next, you will remove the old element. Start where the element enters the firing chamber. Gently pull the straight tail out of the channel. Next, take your needle nose pliers and reach into the element groove. Grasp the element and ease it out, taking care not to chip the bricks. Repeat along the length of the element until it is completely removed. Now you can install the new element. Rather than starting at one end of the element and circling the kiln in one direction, we recommend that you begin at the center point of the element groove and work your way out to either end. This makes it easier to distribute the element evenly in the groove. First locate the center point of the element by taking both straight tails and holding them together as shown. Follow the length of the doubled element to locate its center point. Start by putting the center point of the element into the step down groove and work on one half of the element at a time. Run the element to the first corner and push it in enough for it to stay in place. Continue running the element to each corner of the kiln. Do not pull the element taut. Move from corner to corner until you reach the pass through channels. Insert the straight tail through the channel into the control box. If you run too short or too long, you can go back and adjust the fit. It's best not to compress or stretch the coils in one small area to fit the element into the groove. Distribute the adjustment over a number of sections until the fit is right. Repeat with the second half of the element and insert the second tail through the wall in the control box. When the tails are through the kiln wall, go back and push the coils all the way down into the groove. If you wish, you may use element staples to hold the element more firmly in place, but they are not required.
You can secure your new element in place using your element staple. Hold the element staple with your needle nose pliers and push it into the brick at a 45 degree angle until much of the pin is seated inside the groove. Now you can reconnect the elements inside the control box. Replace the element insulators. Locate the wire you marked that will connect to the first element tail and remove the masking tape tag. Slide the new copper element connector over the end of the element tail and position it as close to the insulator as possible. It should touch the ceramic tube. Mark the element tail where it comes out of the copper connector, slide the connector off the tail, and cut off the excess wire as shown. Slide the copper connector onto the end of the element tail and hold it with the pliers. Insert the lead wire into the copper connector and tighten the set screw with the 1 8 inch Allen wrench making sure that the element tail and wire make a solid connection. Repeat for the other end of the element. Be sure to remove all the masking tape markers as you go. Finally, close the control box door and replace the screws using the quarter inch socket driver. When the elements have been replaced, it is recommended that the kiln be fired empty to cone 6 before proceeding with your regular firings. This will seat the elements more deeply into the grooves and oxidize them to protect them from corrosive materials in the kiln. For more information on Bailey Electric Kilns, visit baileypottery.com.